one sorry so how long does it take to put a show like this together Dan? well i mean it could, it could take weeks right i mean every single song has to be designed um, you know, and, and obviously there's a there's an ideal fantasy design for every single song and, and that takes time to do because you have to work with the music work with the beat rhythm everything like that and then once you have all the songs together for the show then there's a budget reality you know like you can have your fantasy design then have all the design done have your show done and then realize you're in five thousand dollars in the budget or whatever uh-huh so, but I mean that that's that's, that's less the time the time the time the time, it's, uh, the time most of the time is taken up by the original design concept finding music was this number eight is there kind of a rule of thumb how much time it takes per minute or no not really I mean, just some, depends some songs are just some songs are working. I mean the music that we select generally obviously is very fire appropriate but some of it comes together very quickly because it's it just some some songs seem to be made fireworks and, um, <laughs> and they can come together even more quickly so there's no there's no hard and fast rule I mean uh -huh. you, know, you can say like an hour per minute you can say a day per minute it just depends oh on the wow song. It dep okay it depends on the song so like if you program for a what song could you reuse that song like then uh, that was um, Sorry. With all the talking, right I got confused. I'm sorry. That's okay. Ten. Ten? Yeah. So what was your question? Um, if you program a song for one show, are you able to reuse that programming again for somewhere else? Or? In Canada, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, it doesn't make sense to do a show uh, in British Columbia, like, effectively, like, you know, Portland, Oregon, and have something completely different in New Hampshire. Right. You know, when those people are going to see the same show. And it makes your life easier. To do yeah, that. I you can know. imagine. I mean, years ago, I used to do every single show differently, regardless of where it was. It was just the, the time it took me was ridiculous. Yeah. So, yes. Well, and you could change out colors and stuff, yep. but well, not timings, yep. I yep. suppose. Yeah. yeah, and you have to you know, alter it for budget as well. Um, but yeah, the same songs get used all over the place uh -huh. in, in one year, and then we change them up the following year. So I think last year, Mike was telling me he's kind of learned by doing all this. Do you, it, is, how do you become a, a fireworks professional? Is this an apprentice type thing, or are there classes you take? No, well, there are no classes. <laughs> when, when I did it, there was a class that was put on by the government. Well, no, no, there's, there's a course that you have to take to get a license. Oh, okay. You can't shoot fireworks without a license. In but in terms of like going to school to learn about this, no, there's not. Is that it, Mike? There's more. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, wait. One more. We're missing. Uh, missing I got four. 19. Four and nineteen from this guy. Right. Four. It's a single. Yep. And nineteen must be this guy here. But I can't remember the number. Yeah. No. I mean, me. I just got into it accidentally. Science degree and a business degree makes sense. But oh wow. But no, just Science, business, and fireworks. There you go. Kind of makes sense, right? But it's a good living, I would imagine, at least in the season, huh? And you get time off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I don't get as much time off as I used to. And, and the thing is, in Canada, you know, we deal with extreme cold weather, right? Yeah. So New Year's Eve, we were doing shows in uh, minus 35 Celsius, minus 40 Celsius, which is basically minus 40 Fahrenheit. That's your number. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. I can't, I can't imagine doing anything else, but it can be challenging weather-wise, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, you get the snow up there, and then you come down here to the heat. It was 31 below home with snowstorms. No, just thank recently. you. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. Yeah. We're glad you 